what is going on everybody welcome back to that sounds terrible today's episode is about the adorable electronics heckmouth now that is a uh, side company that um i think it's patrick at a at abominable electronics was doing or is doing uh the heckmouth was the first one in that lineup i don't know how many he's doing of that of uh each each pedal that he's going to be doing uh, I know the first 20 or 50 or so um, during the Christmas of 2022, he was doing uh, like limited edition cases. So they had like uh, some extra paint and color and whatnot on them. Um, I got lucky enough and got serial number two. Uh, so I'll, I'll throw a picture up. It's kind of cool. Um, I like serial hunting. It's just fun. It gives me something to do. Um, so we're going to talk about it. It's basically his uh, budget version, I guess you would say, or a friendly version or whatever, of the uh, Abominable Hellmouth. Um, now, I have two two versions of the Hellmouth. Um, I have one from 2016, one of the OGs with the uh, very similar original artwork. Let's see. This one here. All right, so this is one of the originals. Uh, you can see there old logos and then i have a 20 uh 2021 december of 2021 this is one of the newer ones um so you know this is kind of a stripped down version of this one now this one is slightly different from this one this one has the ability to switch between a ts808 and a ts9 circuit uh, still has the extra gain. This one does not have the blend knob. Uh, I do like the graphics on that one a lot. This one, however, has a blend knob. And instead of being a, a TS-808 or a TS-9, he actually changed it to a treble cut. There's not really a lot of difference between a TS-9 and 808. So this is based on strictly the 808. With a treble cut, you still get the extra gain. You can turn the extra clipping on or off. So that's more or less what the heck mouth is based on so it's a stripped down version of the hell mouth and uh so it's basically on off and you've got tone gain and volume and it's as simple as that so we're going to run that into the front of the uh victory super kraken i do have the gut tech uh pdeq and the effects loop only the presence is on uh, the resonance knob is flipped down um ibanez vtb 700 my absolute favorite guitar probably ever uh we do have the dark moon pickups nemesis on the bridge death valley on the neck the mojo tone iso cab with the dw75 the dusty warren signature and a jensen nighthawk 75 and uh all right let's go
have it that is the heck mouth by adorable electronics now <clears throat> i will say if we drop the gain all the way down we put the pedal at noon it's almost <laughs> acts as a volume cut so you don't really get a lot of that push until you get past that kind of like one o'clock, two o'clock position. But nevertheless, once you dial that gain up and you start pushing hard with it, thing fucking rips, man. So if you guys were able to grab one from the first batch, I don't know if he's doing any more. Um, or if there's going to be another run of the heck mouth, but I mean, it's an awesome little pedal to add if you just like the novelty of it and the collectability of it. So, uh, there was what the all white version, the color version, and then the do it yourself kit. Um, I think it was those three there, there might still be some out there. Um, I, I don't, I don't remember for sure, but nevertheless, anyways, tell me what you guys think. See you in the next one.